guys, now I'm going to be taking you through the removal process of this nasty ransomware virus from your computer. This video is going to include three parts, automatic removal, manual removal, and I'm going to show you some file recovery methods that you can use to try and get your files back. Before we start with the video steps, I'm going to say that you're going to have to always follow uh, guidance from site or uh, video YouTube channel that is legitimate. Always make sure to back up your files and use trustworthy sources and always check if these are real people behind uh, these uh, removal guides. So let's get on with the removal. For the automatic removal we're going to be using an advanced anti-malware software which you can download by opening the video and clicking on the link in the description. It's going to take you through a removal article about the specific virus where you can find the download button which you should click and it will take you to the download page where the download should start automatically and then you have to open the installer that you downloaded. Okay, it's going to take you through a language choice and a couple of simple steps that you're going to have to follow. Simply agree with the terms, accept and install and installation should take one or two minutes tops depending on your computer. After the setup is done, this scan should start automatically and when it's done, you click on finish and the scan is going to start. Now that's it. Basically now the, the software is looking for any virus files, objects, cookies, anything, anything that may be even potentially malicious and uh, any virus uh, will hopefully be detected and removed. When it's done, simply select the threads and then click on the next button to remove it. It's easy as that. Now. So much for the automatic removal. Let's get on with the manual removal. For the manual removal, I highly suggest that you back up the encrypted files and that you have some experience with removing threads. What you're gonna do is gonna copy the files on a flash drive anywhere else on your computer because you never know what's gonna happen. Your computer is still infected, still under threat, and at this point you don't know what's going on, you know? So you're gonna copy them to a flash drive, set them to a cloud drive and then you can go on with the removal freely without any worry because the files could be recovered. Now, let's find the virus files. To do that, you're gonna search for show hidden files and folders and then you're gonna click on it. All right, in it you'll see show hidden files, folders and drives. You're gonna mark it with your mouse and then you can apply and then click OK to accept the setting. Now we can find the file even if it's hidden. To find the file you have to know the name. Usually in the description we upload the names of the files uh, in the article where we do research on different viruses. So you can check if it's there. If it's not you can check via other ways which I'm gonna take you through. Now what you're gonna do open my computer and then you're gonna type file extension double dot the file extension exe in this case example virus name is just to show you how it works you're going to type the file name and then uh, Windows will take care of the rest. And you hit enter, it's going to hopefully locate the virus file, search for it and locate it like shown here. And then you have to delete it uh, as an admin from your computer and basically that's it. You've taken care of the virus now. Uh, be advised, you need to have experience, like I said, in removing threads to be able to find these files. Another way to find them and to clear your registry entries is to press the Windows key and the button R and type reg edit. Now I'm going to show you how to clean your registry entry and how to be able to find such files as well. First we're going to back up the registry by clicking on file and export. All right, And then you're going to save it somewhere easy to find on export range click all and type the file name to be as easy as you can remember. So. Click on save and now you have set up a backup for your registry so if something messes up you can always uh, get your registry back the old good configuration by clicking on file and then import and selecting this backed up file. So now we're going to be looking for a specific key. Press Control and S to open the search bar. To do that you're going to mark only keys, we're looking for keys specifically here and then you're gonna type run or run once. It's gonna find next and it's gonna find the run and run once keys at which usually they contain a value of the virus. You can right click on the virus and then delete it or you can right click it and then modify it to see 
the location of the virus file. It will help you find the file. So don't uh, be in a rush to delete the file. And that's it. We've taken care of the threat. Now, for the file recovery, I'm going to show you uh, several simple methods that you can try and that many of our users and uh, our subscribers have already tried and these methods have worked. What you're going to do is you're going to type in the following link in your address bar and you're going to hit enter to open it. This will take you to our specific article for file recovery against ransomware viruses. It contains six methods that have been proven to work under some specific circumstances when it comes to ransomware infection. These methods, they are no way, shape or form 100% uh, guaranteed to work, but they will surely help you as we have some users who have partially backed up their files, being able to recover some of their files and even some users have been able to recover all of the files. Until then, until the crypto is released, you should check uh, the article in the description often. And that's it guys. Uh, thanks for watching, subscribe, hit that subscribe button and make sure to comment if you have any questions, we try to respond fast.